Hello, this is Lucas with NTV Solutions. Today we're going to show you how to connect your Digium phone to your phone system at work. So, to start, you need your Digium phone. This one is a D40. You need your Sophos Red appliance and uh, you need a internet connection at home. So, to start, your Digium phone comes with a phone comes with a power cord and it comes with a black network cable. All of those are required. Your red appliance in the box will come with the little white box, that's your red, and the orange network cable and the power cord. Now we have here a Linksys router. This is our internet connection. So it doesn't matter where your internet connection comes from, it plugs into your router in the internet port. This gives me other ports where I can access the internet throughout my house. Um, we're going to use the orange network cable that came with your red appliance. This is going to be connected directly to your router. Now, on the back of the red device, you'll see a few different things. You'll see WAN and then LAN, 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 LAN. The LAN is where the phones get plugged into if you have more than one phone. And the WAN is where you plug your internet connection into. So from your internet connection, in this case it's our router, you plug into the WAN port of the red device. And you can plug in the power cable. And let that start powering up. So this device is going to uh, connect to the Sophos system, sorry, Sophos, whatever you want to call it, at work, and all of these lights are going to light up when that occurs. Now, your Digium phone will then plug into the red device. So on the back of your Digium phone, you take your black net port cable, and you will see different ports. You'll see a LAN. PC port, um, headphones, headset, and a power port. You will need to, if you're using your back, come in through the top to plug it in, like so, and then coming in through the top again, you will plug into the LAN port. That stands for your local network. So once those two are plugged in, you set the phone down, your power cord will get plugged into any power port as you see fit, and your network cable will find its way back to the red device. Any one of the LAN ports is fine. Now you can see here. This one is starting to get all the lights lit up. There we go. When all the lights are lit up, that means you are connected to the office. Now we're going to move in closer here to see what the phone is doing. So the Digium phone is powering up, and the red device, all the lights on the left hand side are lit up, including the LAN light that we plugged into, the port that we plugged into, and the WAN port, showing that it's connected to the internet. So the only lights not lit up on the red will be ports that aren't plugged into. Everything else should be lit up. The phone will begin to connect in to the network at the office, not necessarily your local network, which is what we want. When it does, it will automatically be pre-programmed to get all the information it needs. It does take a little time for everything to boot up, and so we're just going to wait for that to happen. There we go. And when the guy in the top corner here has a black shirt on, that means he's connected. If he has no shirt on, 
that means he's not connected. So we can test this by grabbing a dial tone. We'll back out here so you can see what buttons I'm hitting. We got a dial tone. We can make a call. And from your home office, you can make an immediate phone call anywhere you want. If you have any questions, contact your IT department and they can walk you through any other steps. Hello, I'm Brad. And I'm Luke. Here at NTV Solutions, we provide managed solutions for network to voice communications. We've requested technical videos about our network security and voice over IP solutions. So, here they are. Please check out our website and YouTube channel for continuous video series and videos. Don't forget to subscribe and send us your request.